Hey everybody, I'm in the middle of a water change here on my gudgeon tank and I've got the flash on because the hood on this aquarium has the seam right down the middle instead of sort of on the forward edge so whenever I have to open the lid I have to, you know, a big piece of the glass is open so I've got to move the light and it just winds up being really dark in the tank so I thought I'd put my flash on for this video. I'm um, hoping it's not going to be a long one but you never know with me I get to rambling and before you know it it's a 15 minute video. Uh, the real point in this video is I want to point out during this water change that I'm probably going to get in here and do a fair amount of chopping back of this temple plant. You can see all of that root mass coming down off of it and if you look up here you can actually see it's up and out of the water so I'm gonna cut a bunch of that off but when I open the tank up and looked in here you can see there's a lot of this sort of scummy cyanobacteria growing in there and it's no big deal it's just kinda of growing on the leaves it makes the tank look a little less attractive um, in the overall sense but it's not even on every single leaf but it is kind of grungy and gross and it was enough of a motivator when I got in there and saw it that I think we're going to treat this tank with the um, ChemiClean for the uh, red slime cyanobacteria because I had really good luck with that in my other tank. We did that in my uh, Black Ghost Knifefish tank recently and I had treated that tank over and over and over again with the... Uh, blue cyanobacteria, the blue-green slime stain remover, and it always came back. I was never able to get rid of it. So when I used the ChemiClean for the red slime, it just wiped it out. And then once it was dead, the little rubber lips that were in that tank took over and got it really cleaned up really nicely in pretty uh, short order, too. Uh, if you look in the back there, there's actually another big branch sticking up out of the water. Uh, sorry if that made a lot of noise. I bumped the camera against the side of the tank there if that was a loud thump. So there you go. Just wanted to give you a little look at this one during the water change. It's kind of gross and scummy on the inside, but we're going to get on top of that here in the very near future. And I am going to get in here, and we're probably going to cut this off pretty close to the ground. I will make sure I leave a couple of nodes... Uh, exposed above the soil and from those nodes we will get new growth and then everything I cut off I can then go ahead and put somewhere else it is so you know this tank has so much cyanobacteria in it and so much of that you know scummy stuff growing in it I don't know if I want to pull that stuff out and stick it in another tank these leaves don't look too bad since they're up and out of the water but you can see lower down some of those leaves certainly have stuff on them that I would not want to transfer into another tank. So we'll see. I might do what I did before, pull them out and stick them in a five gallon bucket with an air stone and then I can run that chemi clean in the bucket for a few days and get it all cleaned up and then I can stick them in another tank. I'm thinking about sticking them in my native tank just to give that tilapia that I've got in there something to eat. This temple plant's fairly fast growing. You can let it float. You know, you can see the roots uh, above the water line right there, or above the soil line right there. So it can easily float and draw its nutrients right from the water. And then, of course, that tilapia is such a voracious um, muncher of the vegetation. I don't know how long it would actually last anyway. So we'll see. But I'm going to get going because my filter in the back is still running and it's starting to suck some air. So I'm going to go ahead and get that valve shut off. And we're not going to bother with the actual filter change. But I do want to stop it before it draws too much air down in the canister. I have a hard time getting it started again. So thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. I am still planning on doing the My Thoughts On video about my big chain pet store. So that's coming up. Don't forget this one here is my gudgeon tank. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.